All right, so you have a cyclone motor and you've connected the whole thing and the motor does not start. It just makes a little whining noise or it just vibrates for a few seconds or a few, not even a second. So what you need to do is first test uh, for the all sensor. This only applies if you can hear the motor like uh, moving, just like this one. You see, I hit the throttle and it's vibrating on the table. But only like for not even a second and it stops. But uh, you don't see it on the, on the screen, but I got a power supply here and it's basically uh, pulling a lot of current. Even though the motor is not moving, there's still current flowing. So it's not a good idea to hold the throttle and expect a different, uh, something different out of it. Likely you will uh, do some uh, other damage to the controller or the motor. So how to troubleshoot uh, this issue? Well, just with seeing the motor jittering like this, I can almost be 100% sure that it is a Hall sensor, but we never know. It could be something bad in the controller. So let's make sure it is the Hall sensor. So what you need to do is you need to connect the controller to the motor, phase wire, all sensor harness, and obviously throttle and the ignition. Leave the rest aside. Don't connect the brake sensor. Don't connect uh, PAS sensor or any other accessories. Uh, just keep it simple. So use the uh, ground probe on the black wire, which is the ground for the, uh, the all sensor board. Use the red probe and make sure you have uh, the hall, the five volt power source for uh, powering the hall sensor board. In this case, I got 4.38, which is perfectly fine. Moving on to the green wire, which is the first hall sensor. Well, I got zero. Now I've removed uh, the gearbox out of this motor. Uh, for the video to show you uh, while well, the movement you can see it's trying to move and also uh, it makes it a lot easier to uh, just move the motor uh, just like notch by notch instead of turning up the uh, the, the, the freewheel it will make like the motor spin a lot faster so as you can see I'm at zero volts and when I'm moving the motor the rotor I'm getting a five volt. And if I continue moving, I will go back to zero, which is exactly what uh, the all sensor do. They just move up and down with the magnet movement. So let's move up to the blue wire, doing the same test over again, getting five volts and now I'm getting zero. So the blue one is good. Let's go to the yellow one. I'm getting five volts. Oh, so there you go. The, there's one all sensor that is uh, damaged. So now you will need to remove the motor from the bike if it's not done yet. And you will need to open the motor. Next video, I will show you how to open the motor and how to replace the all sensor. So, thank you.